Now an ag success story that actually got its start in the 1980s farm crisis and was helped, sort of, by the dryness of droughts along the way, including the current one. Forty years ago, the Eddinger family was just looking for a way to make a little extra money, but a decision to plant sunflowers turned out to be the seed of a bright change of fortune. Once again, Colleen Bradford Krantz has the story. The 1980s farm crisis hit southeastern South Dakota just like it did the rest of the country, bringing a severe economic downturn that affected many farmers and their communities. The Eddinger family of White Lake survived the crisis by relying on their father Wayne's second income as a teacher. But they received additional help when the elder Eddinger planted a field of sunflowers. It was tough times in the 80s. Dad was, luckily for us, you know, did a good job of forward thinking. Forty years later, his sons, Charlie and Chet, still raise sunflowers dedicating about 15% of their row crop acres to the edible seeds. I would say year in, year out, they're one of our best money-making crops. I mean, it is definitely challenging. Um, I think we live in a good area with our amount of rainfall or our climates and soils that, you know, we're, we're in that 20 to 24 inches of rainfall every year, so they're a good dry weather hedge. The 2021 growing season offered a challenging dry weather test for many sunflower growing regions. In the Dakotas and Minnesota, uh, throughout the growing season, about 95% of the growing area has either been a, from a severe to exceptional drought. Um, it, it, the, the conditions here have been just, just awful. I mean, you know, producers in some areas planted seeds of other crops. They didn't germinate. They didn't come up. Sunflowers, often planted last in the northern plains, caught some of the limited rains in those key regions. USDA estimates that yields are down about 13 percent, but some industry leaders had expected worse. In comparison to some other crops, I mean, it, that, that's pretty, pretty good. I mean, honestly, that's very good, considering some places maybe had six inches of moisture since January 1st. With total pounds produced nationwide expected to be down, sunflower prices have already climbed, reaching a point not seen since a similar drought a decade ago. And obviously some of that is people, you know, trying to position themselves to get stocks to last throughout the year to buy ahead. Um, but in, in just the demand for the seed, I mean, when I, when I look at what, what oil is being crushed and, and what was left over in stocks at the end of a month, there's not a lot left. I mean, it's moving out the door because of the demand. The health benefits, large amounts of vitamin E and high monounsaturated fat content, have kept demand high. Sales of the black oil varieties, crushed for cooking oil, and confection varieties, used for human consumption, are regaining some lost ground. And sales are booming for sunflowers used as bird feed. With COVID, our numbers have really gone through the roof. I mean, it's just been incredible. The amount of people obviously being stuck at home, looking for something to do just to, you know, to pass time. And so bird feeding has really had a resurgence here. Sandbachen believes the U.S. sunflower industry could easily support another million acres of production on top of the estimated 1.3 million acres grown in 2021. The Eddinger brothers, who now raise confection sunflowers for human consumption, are based in southeast South Dakota, which as of October 5th, 2021, had received less than 14 inches of precipitation, seven inches shy of normal. Even with the reduced moisture, their sunflower crops still did well, beating their five-year average yield by 22%. Charlie says that anyone considering getting into sunflower production, however, needs to be ready to work. Insects can be a challenge. Um, seed weevils, sunflower moths, diseases can be a challenge. If you're in a wetter climate, um, they may not be a good fit for you. Um, blackbirds are one of the, our biggest challenges here. If you're to start raising sunflowers, I would probably start with, with the black oil variety. That way you can kind of get a feel on, on how to raise them, any other production issues you might have with them before trying to go towards a more specialty option. Once their sunflowers are harvested, the Edinger's edible seeds are delivered to Advanced Sunflower in Huron, South Dakota, an hour's drive to the north. 
Advanced Sunflower handles about 120 million pounds of sunflower seeds annually. The seeds are cleaned, sorted by size, roasted, salted or flavored, and sometimes de -holed. Nationally, about 15% of sunflower seeds are exported. But that represents a decline as the U.S. now faces more competition from overseas sources than it has in the past. The U.S. was primary area where the selective breeding was done to move them from wild to something we could use for snacks and oil and that. But now some other countries have gotten into producing sunflower seeds. So there's been a shift in the last 15 years and it's been a challenge to keep up with you know, their prices. Sunflowers are typically contracted ahead of time by companies like Advanced. Sunflower is not a price leader, it's a follower. So if corn and beans go down, sunflowers go down. And if they go up, sunflowers go up. We have to pay a competitive price to get the, to buy the acres. Some years it's a struggle and some years it's pretty easy. This year was a great year to grow sunflower because it's been so dry and sunflowers actually prefer it dry. Something that happened this year that I haven't seen in a long time is that we had um, 2022 new crop prices out in August. And th that's rare. Normally, normally in this industry, we wouldn't see a new crop price till October, even into November sometimes. That the crushing industry, the confection industry, they all want to start getting acres lined up already. They just want to get crop in the ground as soon as possible and you know expand acres for next year. Nothing like a break on prices to inspire a little more success. <laughs>